I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello students, uh, wanting to remind you that this Friday we have long lunch and we'll have a variety of things happening um, throughout the school, including uh, a movie in the black box, soccer in the varsity gym, basketball in field house, maker space, uh, and uh, the LMC for a variety of activities. I do also want to mention the expectation when we are out in the community. We've had some issues the last time we had long lunch of uh, vandalism and inappropriate behavior. A reminder that a business owner has every right to ask you to leave. Additionally, you're representing yourself and we're representing our school when we're out in the community. So I would ask students that you really think about how you want to represent. And if this continues to be a problem, we'll be forced to eliminate long lunch in the future. So thank you so much for taking care of that and um, being incredible students like I know you are when you're in our community on Friday. Have a great day. Good morning, Cards! Happy Thursday to you all. I'm Blue. And I'm Dev. And let's, let's begin, begin your, your daily, daily announcements. announcements. Sophomores and seniors, please check your school emails to vote for the Student Senate. It is a great way to express your opinion and support candidates. Voting closes today, so make your voice heard. Ms. McIntosh is offering a Red Cross Lifeguard Recertification course. The recertification will take three ASRs, both ASR 1 and ASR 2. The dates are December 18th, 20th, and 22nd. You will review and polish your skills as well as take the lifeguarding exam again. If you are interested, you need to contact her in person or via email, letting her know you would like to attend the recertification course. Please reach out to her by Friday, December 15th. The Nutcracker Two Ways takes place on Tuesday, December 19th at 7.30 p.m. for a festive evening of excellence, tradition, and innovation. The event features a creative collaboration between our band, jazz, and orchestra programs and welcomes professional guest musicians from the Isthmus Brass and Wisconsin Chamber Orchestra to make a memorable night. Bring the whole family to get into the holiday spirit. Adults 19 and older are $15, 18 and under are free. We ask that all tickets are purchased or reserved online in advance. Tickets and more information are available at middletonbandboosters.org. A reminder that long lunch is happening tomorrow with some awesome activities. And back by popular demand for this week's long lunch, Shrinky Dinks and board games in the North LMC. See you there. December's Coffee Clutch will be taking place tomorrow during ASR2 in room 2801 under WLA Vogel. Be sure to sign up if you're interested in practicing your German speaking skills, making some friends, and having some hot drinks and treats. Attendees should be learning German or be a German speaker, and if you are able, it is encouraged to bring some treats to share. We hope to see you there. It's your final warning that the Business Strategies class is putting on a spike ball tournament on December 12th and 14th. Each team member needs to bring a non-perishable food item to Mr. Hutch in 3801 by today. MHS Amnesty International wants your help to redirect school funds to the environmental initiatives. Scan the QR code to learn more and take action. Do that. <laughs> hey Cards! Coming up on Tuesday is a new ASR offering called MHS Study Table. This is an opportunity for all students to get help in all core subjects and have a space to complete work before you head home or to practice. MHS Study Table takes place in the North Commons and is available during both ASR 1 and 2. The upcoming dates are December 12th, 18th, and January 8th. Sign up on FlexiSchedge under Gen Study Table. That's all from us, and now it's time for another episode of Fake News. Bye. Bye. I'm Ooze Trust. 
There wasn't an and, so I got confused. <laughs> I'm Ooze Trust. And I'm Ryan Bruner. And, and this, this is, is the fake news. news. This week I ask, whatever happened to the weather station on the daily announcements? Was loot just boring? Unfunny? Poor? Did he hate his partner? Who even was his partner? Does weather even exist anymore? Do I even exist anymore? What am I? Who am I? Today's senior of the day is my great grandpa Abe. He may have mashed potatoes for a brain, but he still knows how to have a good time. Now for a clip from Abe. <laughs> Hey, have y'all ever been down to Tammy's Fair? We got all the best stuff. We got fried ice cream, we got fried butter, and we got fried arteries. And it's our guarantee that every single one of our rides is busted. Bring your family and your cousins down for a good time. Today is the first day of Original Joke Tuesday, on a Thursday. With that, let's begin. Why was six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. <laughs> In a new investigative journal piece from our very own fake news team, we've discovered that the school is secretly run by Italians. The main piece of evidence is that the school serves pizza every single day. When questioned, some Italian MHS students claimed that this is not real pizza. But to them, I say, get off your high horse. It has bread, cheese, and sauce. What else could you want? After eating pickled grapes, Junior Oscar Sizzleman is currently located in the Unity Point Health Hospital. He's in critical condition, having a 15% chance of survival. Please send your thoughts and prayers. Thank you. Shout out to our new editor, Zach. Amazing guy. Definitely know who he is. He plays trumpet. Dude. Don't say stuff like that. I'm Oz Trust. And I'm Ryan Brenner. And, and this, this has been, been the fake news. news.